Hi there, my name is Rob Green, Refrigeration Product and Training Manager for FSW here in the UK. And in this video, I am going to demonstrate to you why you should never use quarter hoses and always remove the Schrader cores to give you a decent flow rate when you're evacuating or when you're recovering and charging refrigerant, okay? So to do this, I needed this little special gauge, as you can see here, for, from a company called Dwyer in the States, and it measures the flow rate through the vacuum pump, okay? So it shows me what the actual gauge lines are doing, what CFM ratings they're giving me, okay? So we're gonna start the pump up initially, okay? And I've got, you can't see it because it's the other side of the camera, unfortunately, but on this value vac pump, I have a quarter port and I have a 3.8 port, okay? So I'm going to undo the 3.8 port and if you watch the meter, okay, she'll open up to 4 CFM, which is the capacity of this little pump, okay? Now, that's not a problem at all. Let's try it with the quarter port, okay? Open the quarter port up. Check the gauge again. She's just under about, I would say, about 3.8 CFM extraction. So using the quarter port isn't too bad at all, okay? Until you start adding quarter hoses on there. So we'll take a red one for this example. And watch what happens when I add a quarter hose to it. Watch the gauge. There you go. The gauge is dropping to about 1.8 CFM. And all I've done is add one hose on there, okay? Got a core depressor in the end, as you can see. Keep your eye on the gauge and watch how low it goes when you add a, when you connect it to a system that's got a Schrader port. I know, I know this isn't raised into the system, but it's a good um, demonstration of how poor Schrader cores block the flow rate, okay? Keep your eye on the gauge. Keep it on there. And there you go, she's dropped off the scale. At the best, you were looking at half a CFM. So if you watch the camera now, close up camera, I barely have any flow rate through this at all. Nothing at all. So that's why it's taking you engineers overnight to evacuate out some systems, okay? So we've done it with a single horse onto a single Schrader core, okay? Let's try something else. Let's run it through a manifold. We go for a two-way manifold first using two quarter lines to see what happens to the pressure readings, okay? Give me two seconds. I'll just take this hose off here. And what I'm gonna do now, okay? I've got a standard, on this occasion, it's a Navtech two-way manifold, okay? But any two-way manifold or any manifold will, will react exactly the same as this Navtech one, okay? So if I turn the pump on again, okay, she's running up to just under 4 CFM, as you can see. I'm going to attach the quarter hose, just go into the middle of the manifold, okay, you need to tighten that, all right, and as you can see, I got next to nothing coming through there, but I have flow, but it's next to nothing. Now, if I add the Schrader, which replicates you adding the hose onto the system, again, keep an eye on the gauge. Again, the gauge drops off the clock and I've gone next to nothing, okay? So I think that's even less, actually. It's hard to measure because we're off the scale. But there are points on certain manifolds where even running through the manifold, because you have to go through the valve stem, or on CPS manifolds where you're going through a diaphragm can restrict the flow even more. And that's the last thing you want. We've got next to nothing going through, <coughs> excuse me, going through the vacuum pump as it is into the system. So that's why we've been legging these five CFM back pumps around to buy in 10 CFM back pumps. It makes no difference if you're gonna use quarter hoses. Now, when I demonstrate this to most engineers at trade days or to colleges, they say to me, well, hang on a minute, Rob, I use quarter hoses. So I'm saying, well, sorry, <laughs> apologies. They use three eight hoses. And I'm saying, well, no, you don't, because you use three eight hose 
from the vac pump to the manifold and from the manifold to the system you go in back to quarter so i'll demonstrate that now okay bear with me so let's take this one off let's take the two way off okay so we've now got a four way um now tech manifold okay as you can see i'm just utilizing the three eight holes so if i blank off the quarter port on the vac pump I'll go for 3.8, okay, tighten that up nice and tight, and I've got both valves open on the manifold, so I'm going to switch her on and see what happens to the gauge, okay, as you can see, she's no better, no better at all, she's still exactly the same, because the benefit of the larger flow you've got through the 3.8 is negated when you get back onto the quarter port. Pointless exercise, so having a four-way manifold with a 3 8 hose for evacuating, particularly on larger equipment, is a total slowdown of the evacuation process, charging process, and the recovery process, okay? So we're going to my little three the port. So again, if I now add the Schrader core to the end of this four-way manifold setup, watch the gauge, there she goes, same thing next to no flow so what's the solution so the solution is is removing shredders because they block 90 percent of your flow rate into the system and using high flow hoses these black hoses that we sell from appion or from navtech that they're actually half inch internal diameter now they might be quarter inlet they'd always have quarter on one side and maybe three eight or half inch on the outer side as I've demonstrated to you earlier, the quarter port really doesn't affect the flow, okay? What affects the flow is the actual diameter, the internal diameter of the hose. So the smaller the hose you go, the much slower the, the evacuation process or the recovery process, okay? So I'll call it a day on this video and I'll film another one for you now showing you the benefits of the high flow hoses and removing Schrader cores, okay? See you all again soon. Bye now.